light up morning guys and welcome to today's video we we're doing an experiment on our chickens this morning and then a little bit later when gabby is up and ready for the day we're gonna go ride harvey again i just want to take a minute to thank all of you guys for your comments holy heck the professionalism the kindness the information you guys shared holy moly i loved all of your comments on the harvey video anyway we're riding them again today and i'll explain Look, more found the egg oh it's right there you found the other egg how'd you find it well it was kind of popping out is it crushed yeah yesterday i dropped an egg um wait a minute what's happening is she sitting on her <laughs> so we've been showing you guys the dilemma this chicken wants to have her baby she's like um <laughs> listen look and that one steals her baby this is the egg the red one like. Woo! Oh, she's wet. This is the egg the red one lays. All right, so we're gonna, uh, this should not be tried unless they're at nighttime sleeping. She wants her baby. I like go. Go, Molly. Should I put them in? Yeah, here, let me hide her eyes. Put her in the corner there. No, put them in the nest. And then we're just gonna see what happens and pray. That boy is really Get ready to grab her. You should always do this at night when the chicken doesn't know any better. They're your babies, mama. Oh, she's she's such a nice mom. She's like, I want my baby. The other chicken, she tried to attack, she tries to attack babies. You have to get them food and water. Yeah, I'll get them food and water. She wants them. She just wants any baby. Yeah, you don't get any more babies other than your two. We just have to make sure that she's gonna like, she's still upset. She lost her baby. Aww. I think she's gonna accept them. Rarely happens. The it's only so time I could, moms. I know, Silkies are honestly the best moms because they're such a gentle breed. She's still looking for her baby. I know. If she had her baby, she'd probably kill those ones, though. Maybe not. They're happy. Those chickens are happy. I know. Look, that little boy right here. He's annoying as heck. He's the only one that doesn't run away from me. He's a dummy. He still thinks that he's a human. What do you think? That thing doesn't fit in there. She's still looking for her baby. You get three, she only gets two. <laughs> Alright, well we're gonna try it. We're gonna watch them for a while. Just to make sure, but... She seems like she's not gonna hurt them. It's just a matter of will she sit on them and teach them and keep them warm. There. She seems to be showing them what to do. She's interested. I don't know if she's going to take to them. She doesn't seem to understand. Like she steps on them and she seems more afraid of them than maternal towards them. She just needs to relax. Yeah. So we're going to like leave her. I got some food and water. I'm going to go get her something to snack on. One where she kills them as soon yeah, as I lifted them. this separator up and this one flew over. This one flew over and tried to kill them. Like it sucks that she knows that her baby's over here because she just wants her baby. Look. That's to bribe you to be happy. Look, they just want to be with you. Even the boy. So we're going to go do some chores and then we're going to come back. See how she's settled because we're not going to leave them out here when it's cold like this. If she's not going to take to them. Hopefully she takes to them because that boy's annoying. He just wants to be with So him. he doesn't want them in the house because the boy is annoying. You guys, it is hours later. <laughs> and I just drove with Sophie for the first time. And let me tell you, <laughs> it was terrifying. So a couple of times this week, Sam's needed like someone to run out and just move a vehicle around. And he's like, Ben Sophie. Just go out there and, and park the car over there so that this guy can get into the park driveway or whatever. And she's never driven before. And Gabby's brain is built like that. So she sees driving. Like, 
She just has to watch it and she knows how to do it. But Sylvie's brain is like mine. My eyes and my brain don't work really well together. It's like just something that have, has never worked well together for me. And Sophie is like that. So anyway, right now, he said, Sophie, I need you to go and move the truck for me. <laughs> she said, I'm never doing it. And so then I was like, you know what? She needs to do this. She needs to like learn to feel comfortable driving because it's only a couple of years before she'll be driving. So I took her out of here. I said, let's do it. And I tried to pump her up and she was so nervous, just like I was. And it was horrible. So Sam's definitely going to be the one that drains her. It's not her fault, don't get me wrong. I'm not comparing them because they have totally two different brains and some things that Gabby's not good at, Sophie is good at. Driving, Sophie's like me. She doesn't, her brain, her eyes and her, and her brain don't work well together. Like, we're not visual learners. And we're not auditory learners. And we need to learn hands-on and it takes a little bit longer than normal. All right, uh, Sophie, how did you feel? How did it feel? Good. It did feel good? Were you nervous at first? What yeah, and then when you finally did it, we pushed you to do it and you did it and it felt amazing, right? So we're gonna work on that this winter, getting Sophie like to feel comfortable in our yard, obviously. She'll be driving in our parking lot. All right, Sophie, Gabby, do you have saddle pads, everything? Yeah. You got brushes? No. You gotta go get brushes. All right, we are here with Mr. Harvey, <laughs> and he's having a snack of grass. In the light, I can't believe how much of a baby he is. Like, seeing him walk up the hill, he's like a big lab, a puppy dog. So far away, he looks short, but he's not hard that hasn't grown into his whole body yet. <laughs> you are pretty handsome. <laughs> Hi! He's like, you again? <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Look at his mouth. He's like half full of grass. He's like, oh, that's the spot, Gabby, that's the spot. <laughs> He's like, you're fresh in me. Do you remember us? <laughs> now he's gray. <laughs> Alright, so Gabby's just gonna take him out and take him for a walk and get him used to stuff. So, so just to be clear, so everybody knows where we're coming from here. What? So what Gabby's doing is just riding Brandon's horse for a while, seeing what she can do with him. And ideally, she would ride him and bring him along a little and she could, it's all up to Gabby. If she wanted to show him this summer in some equitation classes, she could do that as long as she put in the work to get him where he needed to be. If she wanted, like she can pretty much do whatever her heart desires with him. Right now I'm just seeing like if she has an interest in riding a baby and and bringing him up. So Brandon offered to let Gabby ride him to take her mind off of Chino. She's not really connected with another horse at the Lesson Barn. She rides them, but she hasn't really connected, connected, and I feel like that's what she's missing. And so one day Brandon just said, hey, like, I really need someone to ride Harvey. If Gabby's interested, come on out and ride him. Yeah, he likes to go back. Does he walk faster back to his field? No, he just goes to it. He just goes to it? So, um, Brennan is here and watching. But we're just, she's just getting a feel for him today. He gave her a lesson in him the other day. And she's just going to run around and see. But I'm telling you now, I see love happening. I couldn't tell the first day. But then today, she was excited to ride him and 
I don't know. She definitely wants a ready-made horse. She wants to show. She wants to go. She wants to, to start back up where she left off with Chino. But I don't know where her heart is going or what she feels. So we're going to watch and we're going to see. Oh, tripped. That's because he's a baby. Yeah, do you want the whip though? He's like a gangly retriever. Definitely got the lazy baby days. I just handed her the crop and he looked at it and was like, I know, so that's why. But once he finishes roundup, he'll go to the other farm. The morning sun is rising, spreading its light on. Brandon's there. He sees his dad. Mm, maybe I'll stop now. It's rest time.
<laughs> He'll have it 45 minutes. <laughs> Gabby took him for a trail ride just to get him out, let him look around. <laughs> she said that was painfully slow. Yeah. Well. Yeah, let's take the scenic view, the scenic route. Let's take a look at everything we can see. Was he lucky though? Well, he looked at the pumpkins. He wanted to move closer to them to investigate. I thought he just probably wanted to eat them. Yeah, he looks around. He enjoys the scenery. Like handsome boy. So uh, this is not his bridle. There's no reason why he has that figure eight on. It's just that his bridle is missing. <laughs> so we might bring ours next time. All right, that is it for today. I know everything about him is cute. And it's funny because I've seen this horse so many times. I've never felt connected to him, but somebody said it so clearly in the comments. They said, looking at him, he gives you emotion, like you feel things when you look in his eyes. He's watching Brandon. Yeah, he loves his dad for sure. Every time he sees him, he's like, there he is. Oh, you can see the saddle pad marks. You can see. And the girth marks. You can see where Gabby's legs went. You can go eat a little bit of grass. That's a lot of grain, man. Oh. Growing babies. So long ago when we first bought Storm. And Gabby was trying to get to know him. She was only 11. But fast at walking down the hill. He's very fast at walking down the when hill. Riding him seems very slow. <laughs> but when you're walking beside him down the hill, yeah. it's like he doesn't he know. His, yeah, it's I like I don't want to run because then he might run. He probably won't. He'd probably roll down the hill on top of you. <laughs> when Gabby was little and she was starting to like try and bond with Storm, she took him out after every ride and she let him graze because they didn't have grass where they were. No, they had some grass, just not a lot. Yeah, like very, very little. Like in that field. Yeah, like in that field. So, we're letting his, we're gonna give him his grain and, but we're gonna let him graze for a few minutes. Definitely needs his feet done. Your grain is up here. He already likes Gabby. He's like, where'd you go? Come on. Your food is here. Look, it's over there. Look. Somebody, somebody has to climb in. Let me get that out of your face. No. Success. I just lifted her up to see because all the babies were gone. They're under her. She's, she's accepted them as her mama. That This is rare. And then over there, Mama is showing those babies how to eat. Wow, that was amazing. She's worth her weight in gold. Don't you know that you're beautiful?